instead we're going to see a flatland routine followed by a freestyle routine. So they're still doing two routines and what sort of duration are they? Yes, the first one will be a minute and a quarter, that's the flatland, and the second one, the freestyle routine, will be a minute and a half. Now some viewers who perhaps seen BMX beat before will know that one or two of the stunts that are done are quite dangerous. Do we take a lot of safety precautions here? We take all the safety precautions, of course, with clothing, protective the helmets and everything, but also we always find that freestylers ride within their limits, and that's important. Okay, Andy, let's just see how this fella's been doing oh, since last year. Would you like to have a go? Should we see if he's done a, a little bit better since last year? Yes! <laughs> On the track, are you going to do a bit of commentary, colleague? Yes, I will indeed. Yes, certainly. We've got the helmet on there, that's the most important thing, first of all. Getting all that safety gear on. Give him a bit of encouragement. Come on, let's okay. go. Okay. And here he is, the most complete BMX man of them all. Freestyler and racer, starting off straight away with a one-footed front half. Watch the way he's driving the bike. Watch the way he moves those legs around the bike. Turning the bike around. Watch the way he moves those legs around the bike. Turning the bike around. Back now towards the small trick ramp and a nice uh, front wheel kick turn there and up onto the uh, quarter pipe, popping out and dropping in very nicely and very smooth. And a beautiful set there, yes, that was nice on the 360 front wheel spin. That's right. And yes, what about that? Popping round there on the front wheel. And of course you guessed it, he's gonna drop right in. There he is, and trouble. Well, what have you had to all this since last year? Right now it's time to meet our BMX first. And these are the guys who are gonna be judging both heats in today's BMX beat. So let's meet him. Here we go. Henry Gilmore, regional coordinator for the Northwest region of UK BMX. Nigel Higginson, technical editor of BMX Freestyle magazine. Mike Pardon, BMX beat champion 1984. He's turned professional since then. Ian Tovey, member of the UK BMX National Judging Panel, and Paul Spur with Reagan Wave, board member of the UK BMX. Let's give him a nice cheer, judges. Would you take your position? Give him a nice big cheer. Let's go over to Andy with details of the first team. Okay, thank you very much, Andy Slater. First competitor is Nick Martin. Come on, give us a call. Yes, Nick Martin from Ninton Dale, Nottingham. Awesome. Nice bit of balance. This is what freestyle is all about. This section is 1 minute 15 seconds of flatland. No ramps involved. Very difficult. Into a cowboy and no footing. Freestyle is a very difficult trick. That was sort of a good point. Everybody 30 seconds to go. Everybody awesome kick around. They started BMX as a hobby. And of course, it's ended up competing on BMX feet. This is very nice work. Five seconds to go. Switch around again. Okay, Nick Martin, give us a throw. Okay, then competitor is Dave Slade in the flatland section. Dave Slade is from Barnsley and a nice place down there. <laughs> what a performer. And he represents the Yorkshire television area. Started BMX and was there at a party. Very strange circumstances.
seconds of just tarmac work on the flat. Now we've got Jess Downforth here. This is the part of the show that all the riders actually love because it's quite embarrassing. Uh, we've got the slow motion monitor. Um, Jess Downforth, now you just pulled off a cherry picker during your routine. If we can just have a look at the screen there. That's quite a new trick. Yeah, well it's been around for about four months now and uh, I think the main reason why a lot of people are doing it in this competition is because it's a very impressive trick and it's uh, quite a few variations of it. So, uh, that's the reason why you've seen it. Uh, a guy in America called Martin Ab uh, Arigio <laughs> invented it and uh, he just he got into magazines and people see it in American magazines and it comes over here. Yeah. People copy the tricks from magazines. Okay, well you're doing well so far. Good luck in the next round. See you then. Okay, over to Anderson for the scores. Okay, now it's time for the scores. We have Jill Smith, our statistician, work them out. And here we have Gail Thomas. Thank you very much indeed, Gail. And here are the scores. Representing Central, Nick Martin has scored 126. From Yorkshire, David Slade with 125. From Sky Television, Paul McCracken with 128. Another weekend television, Jess Darren Forth with 130. And GSW, Kieran Jones with 154.
first BMX beat teaching in this brand new series. What we're going to be looking at over the next uh, six editions of BMX beat. Right, well, if you was watching last time, you'd have seen you know, quite a few basic sort of freestyle tricks. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to move on and do some more advanced tricks. The tricky stuff. That's right, tricky we're going to heavy stuff. Let's meet Simon Kefford. Simon, would you like to come on down? Here he comes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Simon, what are you going to see? Good choice, uh, Invert wheel spin. Is that difficult? No, not really. How long did it take to learn? Um, about 15 minutes. And how long had you actually been doing BMX before you learned it? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. About a year and a half, mate. <laughs> All right, off you go. Show us this. Okay, this is the invert it. wheel stand. Talk us through it, Andy. Right, now the basic idea is to get yourself in a nice position on the tarmac. When you feel comfortable, spin round on the front wheel. Bit of balance. It helps if you've got pegs on your forks like Simon has here. Then grab the front wheel, get yourself steady, then lean onto the bars, up into a handstand, and just balance. Very and then nice when you're too. fed up and you've had enough, get back down on the front wheel, back onto the frame, then back onto the pedals and roll out of it. Simon Kevin, give him a cheer. Very, very good. smooth. Yes, very nice. Rob Bell, come on, Rob. Okay, we've got Rob Here Bell comes coming out Rob. next. With a boomerang. Big Rob. <laughs> What's the boomerang? Uh, involves spinning around your handlebars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, is that it? that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly, it's a, it's a mini series. Off you go, show us how it goes. Okay, it, now the idea is, like Rob just said, um, I'll try and say it in a few more words, but yeah. you're going along, <laughs> and the idea is to spin round on the handlebars, holding the bars with both feet in the air, land on the pedal! Very good indeed! That's now we'll right. just take a look at uh, two more effects. That's right, yep. On the more. next BMX Beat Teaching. You got Learn it. For that. Where the riders are totally free to do whatever they want. Nice, nice, right, fully roll back. Excellent, very smooth piece of riding. That's what the judges are looking for. Hey, hey. This is dancing to the music. Excellent, we haven't seen this before. Very good indeed. Nice 
making a total of 279. And representing TSW, it's all on this one. Kieran Jones had 154. He got 133 in the freestyle. He goes through the final with 287. Andy, what do you think about that? Excellent. Well, you went through the on the road to the final four two now. Did you expect to get through? No, not at all. Are you worried about the final now? I'm not worried. No, I'm not worried. Have you got some surprises for us this final? He doesn't look no. it. <laughs> <laughs> we wish you the very best of luck. Great stuff. Don't forget to join us on the next BMX beat for another heat and some more great riders right That's it. Me. More freestyle flying in the next one. In the meantime, Kieran, you're going to show us some stuff out there? All right, give me a nice big We'll Hold see down. you next BMX beat. Till then, we'll see you.